a review of a 2011 Tiger 800. Uh, I bought this oh, last year with 157 miles on the clock. Yeah, 157 miles. One owner, the gentleman rode it home, fell ill. It was never ridden again. Um, so I bought it from a Triumph dealer. Um, even had the OEM tyres on it, obviously, with the right date. So it is as brand new. Uh, second one I've had of this model, and I've also had the one with the bigger wheels, the 21 inch. Um, all 2011, uh, the 21 inch was 2012. Both ride pretty much the same. <clears throat> the only difference I would say is with the bigger wheel one, he got less choice of tyres with the 21 inch front wheel, which is a bit of a pain because I like sports tourers. Um, but if you're going to do any green laning or, or, or track riding, proper touring where you're going off road, I would go with the bigger wheeled one um, for, for that sort of riding myself. Uh, I prefer this one, one because I don't ride off road really. The most you get here is I'm over going over to the mountains over there, but it's single track. So this bike is actually perfect for that. Um, and I'm flat footed on this. With, uh, I'm only 5'11", but 13 inch inside leg. I can, with the seat on the lower height, I can be flat footed on this, which is perfect. I did find with the bigger 21 inch wheel one that I was tippy toe, which weren't a problem, riding was great but a couple of times coming up on dodgy cambers and having to stop, you could lose your foot in a bit. It, it was a bit short for me, with only a, a bit tall for me, with only a 30 inch inside leg. Right, now on this bike, uh, when I got it, completely standard. I've had to add the beak, I've added the touring screen, I've added the hand guards, I added the bash plate, I added the Beowulf exhaust. I just bought this Givey uh, Dolomite box with top rack and plate. That cost me 500 quid. A bit overpriced, I think, but, you know, you want the right bits. And I put a Nitron shock on the bike, which is what I do on all my bikes. Transforms the ride of any bike. A good aftermarket shock. I like Nitron. I think for the price, they're the best out there in that price range. Obviously, it's not Olin's, but... Personally, I, I don't think for the money you can get a better shock. Um, right, about the bike. For those of you who are thinking of buying one, <clears throat> this doesn't have all the uh, the bullshit fly-by-wire throttle, the uh, riding mode sport and all that rest of it, anti-traction. It doesn't have any of that, which is how I prefer my bikes. Um, you know, if I want to put the throttle down, I'll, I'll do it. If I mess up, I'll do it. I don't want the computer saving me and all the rest of it. That, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I know they're good, great aids to have. But if I want to fix something on my bike, I can fix it myself. With these new bikes, with all these driving modes and everything else, you've got to go to Triumph. You've got to pay them 150 quid just to plug the fucking thing in. Just so they can tell you, yeah, it's fucked. Or, yeah, it needs adjustment. On, on a bike like this, 2011, I think 12, 13 are all the same. Um, if I want to adjust my uh, throttle, I'll do it by the cable. Same with the clutch. I'll adjust it to how I want it. So in, I don't like all the rider's modes on bikes. Um, <clears throat> not saying they're not great. I'm sh they are. But I like to repair my own bikes. Uh, I'm old school, you know. I'll do my own fogs. I'll do, I'll do everything myself. Um, a lot of these new bikes now, you've got to plug them in. They've got to be done this. It's got to be computer done this. And it costs a lot of money. So if you haven't got a lot of money and you don't want to be paying stupid fixing bills and service bills, buy a standard bike that's old school biking. Right, with this bike, obviously, uh, I've had it eight months now. Uh, I bought it because I moved to the Highlands um, and I need something a bit better than me, sort of, me FZ1. And I've, I've got a XJR 1300, which I've done another review on, and I've now I've got a CBR 929 as well. But for me sort of 300 mile rides I'm doing today, going over to Apple Cross, you need a, a decent bike. <coughs> um, it's only got about 1,000 miles on it now, I think, because I've only been out on it three times. 
um, because I've been busy with my new place. But right, it's a peach of an engine. It's the street triple engine, um, obviously longer stroke and what have you to make it to the 800. Uh, it really does it. Pulls in every gear. As everybody probably knows, it's a triumph. The, the engine's good. Um, it, it is good. Um, just coming down the A9, it'll sit there at 70 mile an hour, um, at just over 4,000 RPMs. I mean, it really isn't a strain. It'll go straight to 110, 120 if you want it to. No problems at all. And it will scratch with the, with the sports bikes. So if you know how to ride, I've got sports tyres on my sports touring tyres on mine because I road ride mostly, uh, well if not 99%, so I like to ride it. So it will ride, it, it, it will scratch with the rest of them, so it will do your touring all day long, it's so comfortable, um, 300, 350 miles on this is a doddle, it really is a doddle. You can add all your bits and bobs to it. I'm just trying to think, I can't even, I can't really fault the bike. Uh, it'll do 230, 240 miles on a tank of fuel, which is brilliant. Um, I'm just trying to think, what else is there? Um, no, they're just a good bike. But somebody that's, uh, I wouldn't say on the short side, but, you know, short inside leg, I'm 5'11", like I said. This is, I would prefer, go for this one over the big wheel one. If you're six foot plus, go for the bigger wheel one. If, you know, you're the taller person, I think you'll find that one better. Um, the, the bikes, it really is uh, a, a great rider. I, I can't fault it in performance. Um, I, I, no, I can't fault it at all, really. I bought the smaller box so that it doesn't carry a crash helmet because I don't tour. But uh, as I want to, you know, sometimes carry a spare pair of winter gloves uh, in there, I've actually got a medical kit, a tool kit, some tyre welds, some puncture repair kit, you know, just in case. So I, I carry that in there. Uh, the Bear Wolf exhaust sounds absolutely gorgeous on this bike. Without being too loud, it pops, it bangs, it's nice without being too loud. Um, get these from Bear Wolf, great company to buy from. <clears throat> um, the Nitron shocks, I can get trade, so maybe give me a shout if anybody wants one. Uh, transforms the ride of a bike, really does transform the ride of the bike. Uh, what else can I say? You've got the seat adjustment on this, so you've got your two heights. I've got mine on the lowest. Um, it's just that I'm flat footed on it. It's not a heavy bike to move about, it, it is quite easy. Uh, Yes, yeah, not 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 a lot to say really. I'm, I'm trying to think on performance. Brakes are brakes are shit hot. Um, suspension's good with the uh, nitron shock on it. But to be fair, it, unless you're super super heavy, the standard shock's fine. But for riding and really wanting to give it some on the twisties and what have you, upgrade the shock if you can. If there's one mod you're going to do to your bike, change the shock um, to to a decent aftermarket shock. Uh, got the sat nav mount there, which is a, a good mount you can buy on eBay. It straps behind the clocks, um, which it, they're great. Yeah, all in all, um, I'd recommend it as a, a good all round touring bike. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've ridden every bike under the sun, I've owned god knows how many bikes so this is not just coming from a person that's ridden four or five bikes i've probably owned 60 70 bikes over the years um from rd 350s to z thousands to rxd 660s i've had the street stripples every blade r1s fz ones oh, you, you name it i've had it um even down to the back in the the, the the early 80s with the super dreams and everything else so i've got a wide experience in riding bikes this is a great bike. Uh, <clears throat> it's the third one I've had. Like I say, I've had this model before, exactly. And I've had the bigger wheel model. Both great bikes. It, it's really down to preference. Um, for, if you only do road riding, stick with this one. If you do do, a, a, you know, you're gonna do proper touring and go a little bit of green tracking and all the rest of it, 
go with a bigger wheel one. Um, it's just the tyre choice is the only problem, like I said before. You, you, you can't really get sports touring tyres, they're more... I think my other one had Tarounce on it. Uh, not bad tyres, not bad tyres at all. Uh, they never slipped on me and I still rode it like a sports bike. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, and there's plenty of these out there. This bike, like I said, I got it with 157 miles on the clock and I give five and a half for it. Um, don't get me wrong, I've added all the silly other extras which you, you don't need to add, but uh, there's probably what? Shock, back box, exhaust, beak, screen, belly pan. I'll probably put 1500 quid into it. So, yeah, it stands me to seven grand, but the exhaust, the shock, the back box, you take all those off, you get 90% of your money back anyway. So it's the price of fun, as my mate often says. But yeah, great bike. Definitely, definitely recommend them. Yeah, I just can't afford it. it, it, it I, like I say, I've had three of these. They really are a peach to ride. Great fun. I'll be going over today, over to the Apple Cross Mountains. Um, this is the, if anybody wants to know this route, this is, you'll never see another car on it. I mean, it really is unbelievable. It's the B851. <clears throat> now this road, comes off the A9 at Slough Summit. So when you're coming up, you'll see the sign for Slough Summit. When you get to it, it's literally 20, 30 foot past it. You do a left um, and then you go over a little bridge and so on, but your sat nav will do it. But this will take you the back route to Loch Ness, to Cameron's Tea Rooms, which is a great place to stop for uh, a coffee before you go on to um, Apple Cross or Urquhart Castle or over that way, whichever way you want to go. Um, but yeah, it's a stunning road this is. Really a stunning road. You've got about, oh, I don't know, 10, 10 12 miles of this. Um, it really is brilliant. So yeah, there's the uh, review on the bike, if it helps anybody. Um, I don't know of any faults with the bikes. Uh, I've not had a fault of mine, uh, my other two, and like I say, I've only had this one for a thousand mile, but uh, the only ever problem that I've had with a Triumph, to be honest with you, is the fucking dealers, <laughs> but I won't go on about them, um, that's the only ever problems I've had with Triumph is the dealers, um, but that's, uh, that's another review, but yeah, so I hope this helps somebody out, cracking bikes, and I'm going to go on and do another 200 miles today on this one. So happy riding everyone.